Hello, this is a quick video on pre-filters and why you should not be impressed with visible dust on any air purifier pre-filters or filters. Some videos out there on the internet like to show dirty pre-filters on air purifiers and act like that has some significance. They insinuate that the air purifier must be doing a good job just because you can see dust buildup on the pre-filter, but that is absolutely not the case. These are just sensational videos. All pre-filters will accumulate some dust and debris buildup over time. Even if you strap a pre-filter on a cheap fan without a HEPA filter, you will also see dust buildup on it. It does not mean the air purifier is of good quality, nor does it mean the air purifier is performing well. Here is a video with a caption that says, I've used the air purifier while renovating my kitchen. Result was amazing. How is that an amazing result? You got dust and debris buildup on the pre-filter. And there was a lot more dust and debris in the air, probably at least 10 times more than normal because you're doing a renovation. All air purifiers and even a do-it-yourself box fan with a MERV filter strapped to it will get debris buildup during a renovation. Here is a comment in the comment section of the video. What air purifier is this one? It really works. This is a Lavoit Vital 100. So this is a $110 air purifier. So the person who commented is obviously impressed with the dusty pre-filter. What is the definition of works well? All pre-filters will get a lot of buildup during a renovation. Of course. And all pre-filters will eventually get dust buildup over time when running in almost any room. Of note, if you are doing a renovation and tearing down walls or something of this nature, what you really need to protect yourself and your air quality is something called an air scrubber, like a dry ease HEPA air scrubber. Air scrubbers filter at a HEPA level, but they have a lot of CFMs. They basically have a very strong fan, so they have a lot of airflow. So they can take the debris out of the air very quickly during the renovation instead of having it scatter all over the place. Air scrubbers are basically industrial air purifiers that are used during renovations. You certainly wouldn't put a cheap Lavoit 100 air purifier into this type of an environment, not when you're doing a renovation. There will be tons of larger, coarse, and smaller ultrafine particles in your air that you would be exposed to, and the Lavoit would be completely overpowered in this type of environment. Yes, of course its pre-filter is going to get dirty, but it will miss tons of dust and debris that will scatter all over the place. Even a box fan with a MERV filter strapped to it would get a bunch of debris build up during a renovation. The Lavoit 100 only has 130 CFMs, while the Dry Ease Air Scrubber has 700 CFMs. So the Air Scrubber has 82% more CFMs, 82% more airflow. It's like having five of the Lavoit 100s in the room but a dry ease HEPA air scrubber will filter much, much better than a Lavoit 100. It's an industrial piece of equipment. So this individual basically put a weak, cheap air purifier into an industrial setting to show you that it's pre-filter accumulated dust and debris, as if that's impressive. I mean, that's just brilliant. Anybody with any air purification consulting experience would know not to put that air purifier in that type of an environment. The two just simply do not go together. And as many of you have seen in one of my previous videos, I strapped a pre-filter to a cheap fan in my house and look, it accumulated dust and the filter is much lighter in color than what it looks like when it is brand new out of the box. But that certainly does not mean the fan and pre-filter are performing at a HEPA level. It doesn't even have a HEPA filter. It's just a fan. And look at this. This is the pre-filter on a heater that I own. Look at all the dust accumulation. Does that mean my heater is doing a great job of purifying the air? Of course not. It's just a heater. It's just a simple pre-filter on a heater. Visible dust and debris will most always accumulate on an air purifier's pre-filter, but don't think for one second that means the air purifier is doing a good job of filtering your air. And here's a short video of a guy showing us dust buildup on some type of filter saying, this is proof that air purifiers actually work. This is proof that air purifiers actually work. Wow, look at all this. I mean, it just shows large particle dust buildup, but it doesn't actually tell us how well the filter actually works. Again, you would get the same buildup with my cheap fan 
and the strapped on pre-filter if you put it in the same environment. So don't think just because you can see dust buildup on a filter that that means the filter is doing a good job of purifying the air. I see these online influencers making videos showing their fan bases air purifier pre-filters with some dust accumulation and acting like that proves the purifier they are trying to push on their fan base is completely legit. Like it's some extraordinary air purification solution. And like they would even know the difference between a good air purifier and a poor performing one. Remember, we can only see particles that are 40 microns and larger, so we are only able to see about 1% of the particulates floating in our air. And the smaller, ultra-fine particles that make up 90% of the particles in our air and are the most hazardous to our health are invisible to us. They are 0.1 microns down to 0.003 microns, and they can get into our bloodstream and access all the organs in our bodies. And we certainly cannot see these particles with the naked human eye. So when you see a video of someone showing you dust accumulation on a filter, it does not mean the air purifier is a reputable air purifier, nor of good quality. It is just showing you large, less hazardous particles that have stuck to the filter. For example, here's an influencer with 88,000 Instagram followers, Little Southern Wife, aka Crunchy Mama. <laughs> real life non-toxic living and on our instagram account at the top left is a post for air doctor which is an air purification brand we can see here on the air doctor manufacturer's website their affiliate program provides 15 percent commissions for any sales the affiliates make so if they sell a 500 hundred dollar air purifier through their link they get 70 dollars not bad air doctor is very active with different social media influencers and that is a very smart marketing strategy these days, of course, in my opinion. So this influencer, Crunchy Mama, has a blog article with very large pictures in it where she really stresses the dust accumulation on the pre-filter of her Air Doctor Pro unit. These large pictures have her making disgusted faces while she's holding the dirty filter. Right here it says, you won't believe what was inside my Air Doctor Pro. You mean dust accumulation on the pre-filter? I mean, like that's some amazing thing, you know, like every other air purifier in the world has that. To be honest, I think they rigged the game on this one a little and somehow they got much more dust on the pre-filter than normal. I mean, look at that thing. None of my air purifier pre-filters have ever looked anything like that. And we have a pretty dusty house and we go way past the amount of time that we're supposed to change or clean our pre-filters. And they never look anything like this. Yeah, we get some dust buildup on our pre-filters, but nothing like that. And look at her face. Oh my God, it is so gross. I mean, they did something a little extra to get that much accumulation on that pre-filter. There's just no way. Now, I want you to take notice. On the edges of the pre-filter, that right there means the dirty air is getting around the pre-filter and some of it is very probably also getting around the HEPA filter as well. I call that a dust splatter pattern. And I'll make some videos on this in the future. As I think she is unintentionally showing us that a good amount of dirty air is most probably getting around the HEPA filter, as funny as it sounds. She may have just proved that to us in these pictures. Anyhow, We'll get to that in future videos. And even the carbon filter has some debris on it as well. So you come down here and it's like, y'all, I cannot believe how gross they were. The air purifier that I have in our home is from Air Doctor Pro, and it has been proven to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses in the air. It is unique to other air purifiers for six reasons. Uh, two quick points here I want to interject. A, I highly doubt it kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria and viruses in the air. And B, nor do I believe it captures 99.9% .9 of them either. Number one, 100 times more effective with state-of-the-art Ultra HEPA. Okay, so there's HEPA filters on the market that most people are familiar with. And then there's a company called Air Pura, a different air purification manufacturer out of Canada, and they have a filter they call Super HEPA. 
And those units are actually supposed to be able to filter better than HEPA. And it is very possible that they do actually perform better than HEPA as Air Pura is a really good air purification manufacturer. And another air purification manufacturer out of Switzerland called IQ Air has a filter they call Hyper HEPA. And I do believe it does filter better than HEPA. And so now Air Doctor, it looks like the Air Doctor marketing department wants them to be recognized as having rights to the term Ultra HEPA. As you see that little TM at the end, that means trademark. So I don't know all about the trademark laws, but it appears Air Doctor wants that term Ultra HEPA to be associated with their brand. Ultra HEPA. Sounds good, right? Sure sounds better than just plain old HEPA, right? They go on to say, Air Doctor's Ultra HEPA filter is 100 times more effective than ordinary HEPA filters, capturing 100% of some of the most dangerous ultra-fine particles as small as 0.003 microns in size. Now, the big question is, what percentage of ultra-fine particles does it actually capture? Because no air purifier that I'm aware of not even the IQ Air Health Pro Plus or the Aris 3-in-1 or even the Air Pura Super Happy units or any clean room units I've ever come across can capture 100% of 0.003 micron size particles. So again, what percentage of 0.003 micron size particles are they actually capturing? They said some. So what does some actually mean? What is the definition of some in that sentence? That is the million dollar question. Not to get sidetracked on the marketing and branding terminology, but as you can see, Crunch Mama's blog post primarily focuses on a bunch of debris accumulating on the pre-filter. And again, it does not mean this air purifier filters small particles well. All air purifiers will get dusty pre-filters. All of them will get dusty pre-filters. So as you can see, there's a lot of sensationalism going on with some of these air purification videos and pictures, and some of the influencers can make some pretty good money by getting people to order some of these units through their affiliate links. And hey, I also want to do that as well, right? Who wouldn't? I love social media, and I encourage everyone to build brands on social media, and I love seeing people make money with social media. But in the air purification niche, when we are talking about air quality, and improving air quality, we're not just talking about nice accessories to wear or, you know, silly Halloween outfits for the kids. We're talking about very impactful health-related solutions. And I've worked with some customers in the past who literally had life-changing experiences due to the air purification solutions they purchased. And scientists and doctors are starting to learn more than ever that poor air quality is negatively affecting our health a lot more. It is a lot more detrimental to our overall health than we ever imagined. New studies are potentially linking ultrafine particles to autism, Alzheimer's, and breast cancer, and a whole host of other health issues that we never really connected the dots on in the past, okay? So it's not just about allergies and asthma anymore. Poor air quality has a profound impact on our long-term health. And we're just starting to uncover the tip of the iceberg with better, more modern research. So this is a very, very important subject matter, and it needs to be treated in such a manner. And I don't want people to be fooled by these dusty pre-filter videos, pictures, or blog articles. These are just overly sensational, somewhat visually stimulating ways in which some people and companies are marketing air purification solutions these days. So please don't fall for it. Click on this video here to see some questionable marketing techniques being used successfully to sell air purifiers to pet owners. Meow, don't be fooled. Thank you.